Well, the community of Puerto Basque is still under a state of emergency this evening. After post-tropical storm Fiona carved a path of destruction through that community on Saturday. NTV's Don Bradshaw is live with us now in Puerto Basque this evening with the latest on cleanup operations that are underway there. So Don, tell us, I, I see behind you there is a lot of cleanup that needs to be done. Exactly, Amanda. 24 hours ago, people in neighborhoods like this in Puerto Basque were chased from their homes from post-tropical storm Fiona. Today, some were able to come back to those homes. Some, unfortunately, like the people behind us, had no homes to come back to. For people in this community, today was a very somber day. Devastation. Just some of the emotions sweeping through this community today as residents here got their first look at the destruction left in the wake of post-tropical storm Fiona. It's more than gut-wrenching, especially when you know some of the people. I mean, it's bad enough when you don't, but you look around and you see all this and I just can't imagine what they do. Everything gone? What do they do? Saturday storm wiped out dozens of homes in neighborhoods located along the low-lying coastal sections of town. With winds gusting upwards of 150 kilometers an hour and 40-foot waves crashing onto the shoreline, these homes never stood a chance. Jim Lane was one of the residents here chased from his home early Saturday morning. We were all ready to evacuate, but then I seen the waves coming, so I called up my wife because I seen a house come, come across there. With the first wave, I said, Lane, start and take houses. So I said, you get ready, we're getting out of here. So I come out then and start looking around, see if we could out. And then next thing you know, all the houses was coming down here. And then there was another two, and RCMP was down there. He ran down to one of the houses. He booted her back. My buddy from next door, he ran down there. He booted case people's in the houses. So we just booted her up and got out of there then. This neighborhood perhaps best exemplifies the power of this storm. These vehicles behind me were once located a couple of hundred meters on the opposite side of this road. To my left, this is all that remains of a two-story apartment complex completely blown over by a storm surge and relocated about 50 meters from the shoreline. Images like this dotted the landscape all over the area of town known as Channel. Those who live here were evacuated early Saturday and left their homes not knowing what they would face when they returned. Some were able to escape the wrath of Fiona, while others weren't as fortunate, losing everything to a storm that's already being described as the worst to ever strike this region. It's heartache, it's heartbreak, it's devastation, it's my neighbors. Um, I'm fairly new to the street, so it's, um, it's so devastating is that my neighbor's been here for years, more than me, and they didn't even actually realize how bad this was going to be. It's, it's heartbreaking. So Amanda, as you can see, there were a lot of people who were displaced from their homes. When we come back a little later in the newscast, I'm going to take you through this neighborhood and show you exactly the power that post-tropical storm Fiona packed when it tore through this area. For now, Amanda, back to you.